tell y'all I'm about to come out out of the closet and share something with you that I didn't think I'd be sharing, but the Lord directed me to do so because it could be a blessing to someone else and someone else may need this help. So I'm going to tell you about the truth about my addiction. Yeah, the truth about my addiction. But um, it was just personal because I was talking to God, you know, crying out to him, talking to him about it, telling him all of this stuff, you know, about my addiction. And he was like quickening my spirit to go and share this with others so others could hear it as well. So I want to first thank him. I give him the praise, honor, and the glory for his goodness, for just using me and speaking through me. Decrease me, Father. Increase you and me. Give your people an inner here and a heart to receive this word, whoever it's for. Let it fall on good ground. Anything that's not of you, I rebuke it in Jesus' name and send it to the pits of hell where it belongs and burn down any evil altar by your judgment fire. And I just thank you, Father. And I welcome the Holy Spirit to fill this place. So, the truth about my addiction. Yeah. I never thought I'd be addicted to anything in life. You know, because I'm strong-willed. Yeah, I have a strong willpower. That's how God made me. So, I never thought that I'd become addicted to anything. But the truth about my addiction, I'm addicted to God's miraculous signs and wonders in my life. I'm addicted to how God always show up and show out every time I need him. Every time I have a need or a want. Yeah, I'm addicted to how God has spoiled me by giving me everything that I desire and then some. I'm addicted to God's goodness, his grace and his mercy that he just gives me even when I don't deserve it. I'm addicted to God for the many times that he's given me things over and over again. Now, I've become expectant of him to do so because he spoiled me just like a kid. He spoiled me. So I expect him to do it. And he said that I'll do whatever you ask in my name so the Father may be glorified in the Son. He said that in John 13, 14. Yeah. So I'm expecting. I'm addicted to his never-ending love because there's never a day that I wake up not expecting God to do something extraordinary for me. Yeah, I'm addicted. It's a drug to me. It's like a drug. His love is like a drug to me. I'm addicted. Yeah. If he would have never shown me his mighty works in my life, maybe I wouldn't be this way, you know? So he made me this way. He made me this way. He got me hooked. Hooked on him, on his love, on his every word that it don't return back void. I'm addicted. I'm addicted to God. I'm addicted to the Holy Spirit, quickening my spirit. You know? Showing me things and telling me what I need to do, you know? I'm addicted to Jesus' word, not returning back void. I'm addicted to God being omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient, everywhere at all times, all-knowing, all-powerful, all-wonderful God in my life. Yeah, I'm addicted. If he just would have never shown me his mighty works in my life, maybe I wouldn't be this way. But I'm addicted. You know, so I thank him. I thank God for patiently waiting on me to humble me. For waiting on me to humble myself. And turn everything over to him so he could work it out for me for my good I thank God I thank him I thank the Lord for gently catching every tear that falls from my eyes and counting them as prayer requests going up to him for everything that I ever wanted to say 
for things that I wanted to say right then but couldn't because of the pain that I was feeling each time that I surrendered to him in tears with worship and praise. Yeah, I thank him. I thank him. I thank him that I could speak to him without even opening my mouth. That I could speak to him in my mind and in my heart. And he answers. I'm addicted to him. Yeah, I'm addicted to the love that he shows me and the grace that he's given me. I'm addicted. Yes, I'm addicted to the authority that he's given me to prophesy over myself as I speak things that are not as though they were in the name of Jesus. I'm addicted to that. So nothing can stop me now. Every time I see something and somebody say I can't have it, if it's in the will of God, I tell God, I speak these things that are not as though they were. I prophesy over myself because you gave me that authority to do so in Jesus' name. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm addicted to going to sleep at night just so I can receive a dream, vision, or audible voice from the Lord, expecting his direction for my life. I'm addicted to his guidance in everything that I do on what to say and what not to say, what to wear and what not to wear, what to watch and listen to each and every day of my life that he blesses me to see. Yeah, I'm addicted. I'm addicted to him making a way for me to be a blessing to someone every single day. I'm addicted to him blessing me pouring out from heavens out of his storehouse into me blessings that I can't even contain that I have to be a blessing to others with it I'm addicted to him making a way for me every day I'm addicted to his diction and enunciation with words when I'm writing or speaking something that he tells me to do yeah So I never ever thought that I would be addicted to anything because of how strong I am. I've always been a strong woman, you know? I've always done things on my own. I've always, you know how they say, get it out the mud. I always got it out the mud. I always grind and got it. But I'm addicted. I'm addicted now and spoiled to him doing it for me. And I can't see any other way of doing it if he's not leading it. So I'm addicted to God's direction in my life. But I would rather be addicted to God's direction in my life than anything else. So y'all, that's the truth about my addiction. And um, his scripture reads in John 4, 7, submit yourselves Then to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. 1 Corinthians 6, 12. I have the right to do anything, you say, but not everything is beneficial. I have the right to do anything, but I will not be mastered by anything. Yeah, so God gives us the right and the free will to choose whatever we want. He don't force himself on us, but he's always there waiting for us to humble ourselves and call on him so he can spoil us and have each and every one of us addicted to his love. (laughs) Yeah, to his love. So I just thank him. And I thank him for this, for touching me to tell you all the truth about my addiction. So I pray this was a blessing to you. Whoever it is for, that the Lord give you an ear to hear and a heart to receive this word, and that it falls on good ground. In Jesus' name. So if you have prayer requests, I'm going to put up my Gmail address. Um, and also I'm going to put up my YouTube address, my YouTube link, so you can look, look at all of the videos, listen to the word of God, 
and you can see it just, you know, just like you're listening to it in your earbuds and your ear pods or whatever in the grocery stores and walking your, your dog and your child, pushing the child in the stroller or just, you know, just join your little, taking a little stroll, listening to me on the earbuds on a podcast. You can also watch me when you're sitting at home on YouTube because sometimes I live, I do live videos and you can interact with me if you have questions about the word of God, you know, we can pray together on lives. So it's a blessing. I thank God for all these platforms and all these social media sites to do and spread his word, you know, with others. So if you need to know more information about me on my YouTube channel, you can click the about section. Yeah. So I pray this is a blessing to you and your families. Whoever listened, share it, share it, click like, 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 share, 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 and subscribe to my YouTube ministry channel so many people can see it, so um, YouTube can pass it on more than they do to share this gospel with others so they can receive God, receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Yeah. So I have the prayer of salvation. If you've been sinning and you want to get to know Christ, or if you're a believer, and you just backslid and you want to rededicate your life, I'll say it and you repeat it after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. I believe you died and rose from the dead. I'll turn from my sins and my wicked ways. I invite you to come into my heart and my life. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Yeah, so if you've done that, y'all, welcome, welcome to the family. Welcome to the family, brothers and sisters in Christ. So get together with other believers, those who were worshiping God in Jesus' name, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, so they can help edify and build you up in the Word of God. You can check me out on my YouTube, catch me on some of those lives, send emails to me in my Gmail, and I'll pray for you, you know, keep in contact with me so I can just, you know, help and keep pushing you towards Christ, you know, help it edifying, building you up in the word of God, fanning that flame of fire that's within you. Yeah, the fire for Christ. But the enemy will attack because you're trying to live for Christ now. You gave your life to Christ. He's going to attack maybe even more than he ever had in your life because he's going to lost someone else following him, you know. So now you're following Christ. But don't worry about it. Shake it off. Get up and press on. Move forward to what Christ has called you to do. Yeah. Follow Christ. Get up, shake it off, and follow Christ. Read that word. Get that word in your spirit. You can fight phantoms um, so you can have a shield on, the full arm of God. And know when the devil throw those fiery darts at you, you have that shield of protection on. And those darts will bounce right off you with the word of God. Then you can repeat that word back to God, telling the Lord, you said this. This is what you said, Lord, I am who you said I am. I can do what you say I can do. I can be what you say I can be. I am more than a conqueror. Yeah, you can say that word back. That's what God likes for you to do. Say it back to him. Remind him of his word. Because his word going to return void. Oh, no. So, I pray, Lord, if in, in Jesus' name, that this is a blessing. So, many blessings to you and your families. Many blessings to you and your family. Oh, but don't forget to get baptized, too. So the old man could die under that water. The old way of thinking, living, talking, acting would die under that water. Get fully submerged. When you raise up out that water, you'll be new creation in Christ, you know? Yeah, old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new in Jesus' name. So blessings, blessings, blessings. Until the Lord quickens my spirit to upload something else. Yeah, until the Lord quickens my spirit to upload something else. Oh, y'all, so I'll be um, posting this video on YouTube as well. But it won't be airing until it'll be a premiere and it'll be airing um on the 27th yeah the 27th of, Jul- of january you know and um at 7 p.m central standard time zone so blessings 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 to all you and your families until the lord quicken my spirit to come on here with something else enjoy your day or night whatever time location time zone you're in <laughs> Thank you.